Welcome everyone to Khalifa's University channel. Today we'll be learning how to use Symbiology. Simply, Symbiology is an extension of MATLAB. It's a software that provides tools for modeling and analyzing complex and dynamic systems. But why do we use Symbiology in the first place? As you all know, conducting research costs a fortune, so it's essential to run few simulations on your model to recognize its mistake and hopefully develop it. Despite whether you want to execute real research, Symbiology is always available. Examples on models that can be made using Symbiology are predicting the efficiencies of drugs and its safety and also defining an optimal dosage schedule. Symbiology is available for all KU students at a free cost as it's linked to their MATLAB account. However, this video is specific for KU students that are pursuing a biomedical engineering degree where they are required in their junior year to develop a Symbiology model for the Human Physiology and Modeling class. Now, let's download the program together as we will first download MATLAB by heading to their official website called MathWorks. You will need to sign up using your KU email and password. Once you're signed in, click on the upper right button that says Get MATLAB. After clicking Install MATLAB, choose the appropriate software for your computer and start the downloading process. You will immediately notice the program downloading on the bottom left of the screen. Once the download is complete, click on the lower left tab and a window will pop up to undergo further installation of the program. Once that is complete, a final window will appear and you will again be asked to sign up with your KU email and password. After signing in, you must read the terms and conditions of a program. Click yes to agree with the terms of the program, then click next. Before we proceed, if you're still facing issues with setting up your account and you're not able to log into MATLAB, I will attach a link for this PDF that contains a detailed step-by-step -step explanation on how to set up your MATLAB account. Let's head back to our installation process. Click on the MATLAB icon in your taskbar and make sure that you click Symbiology from the available options. If you're clicking on Symbiology, make sure to select the option for displaying MATLAB on your desktop. Click Next for the final time and wait for the last installation to take place. Click Close and once the program is downloaded, you will see the program on your desktop. Click on the program and let's start learning how to use it together. The first step is to open Symbiology by clicking on the upper left corner on Apps. We click on Symbiology and wait for a new window to open. We start on the upper left corner on Model and we will select Create a new model. I will name mine Sugar in Blood. Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with the tools of Symbiology. First, we have compartments, then species, then reactions. And before we start assembling our first model, make sure to zoom in or out and use the hand tool to adjust your diagram. More details compartments are used to model separate cells and organelles. You can think of a compartment as a container where you will be putting your species. Most importantly, each model must include at least one compartment and all of your species must be assigned to a specific compartment. As you saw earlier, once we open Symbiology, there was a compartment available by default. Moving on to species. Species are used to represent chemical compounds that will participate in a reaction. Species can be things like DNA, glucose, or even proteins. Let's apply what we've learned so far and start building our first model. I will start by naming my compartment. Since I'm talking about sugar and blood, my first compartment will be the bloodstream. I will then drag a species and I will name it glucose, which indicates the sugar in the blood, obviously. And simply rename your species by double clicking on the name and typing the name you prefer. I will zoom into my model and use the small white squares that appears when you click the species to pull and adjust it. Now we will introduce the reaction by dragging it into our model. Reactions are introduced in our model to indicate that this species will influence the other species. As I zoom in out, I will continue building my model by dragging a new compartment and naming it liver. And within the liver, I will drag a new species and name it insulin. Now we will indicate that there is a reaction by clicking control on our keyboard and clicking on the uh, reaction icon and dragging a line from the reaction to insulin. We will follow the same steps to connect glucose and the reaction to indicate that they have an influence on each other. 
the same table on the left now we can manipulate the values for our species for example i can increase the value of glucose then increase the value of insulin and see how they influence each other please that was it for building our first model using symbology stay tuned for part two where i will show you how to use the model analyzer and symbology and help you build more complex models using the symbology model analyzer we can run few simulations on our model to test it additionally we can retrieve data in the form of graphs which indicates the impact that one species has on the other species in this case after running the simulation we can tell from the graph that the species have no impact on each other since it's an equilibrium before we end our video don't forget to save your model from the upper left corner click save and save your project in the preferred name so that when we use the model analyzer on next video you can immediately uh, open your model by clicking on open then open further on the upper left corner of the screen with that we've came towards the end of our video i hope you've acquired a new skill of using some biology and are excited to learn more about this program despite whether you're a biomedical engineering student or not remember to stay curious